What's going on guys, Rattle Pop Golden here and what a beautiful day it is. The weather is perfect, the breeze is coming through nicely, the birds are chirping, sometimes annoyingly, but right now it's okay. And um, got the last two letters I needed to complete this abundance of an order that uh, I've been waiting for for like a week and a half now. So, I got the binders with me. I guess I should go through them quickly. The first one is my my favorite binder. It has like all my favorite stuff in here. Obviously my Amphroses, my Expedition, Aquapolis, Skyridge stuff. My Shining Alkazam, my at the Hitmonchan, Japanese misprint, been hanging on to that. I think I got that when I was a kid. I pulled it out of a pack. I've never seen another one like it. I haven't done any homework on it yet. If you know anything about that, please let me know. But yeah, some other stuff in there. Um, all favorite stuff, childhood stuff, and my Hidden Fates stuff as well. We see a lot of holes in here. Don't worry. That yeah, was loud. No, um, don't worry. That's going to be completed nicely. Um, today, we got the Childhood Charizard, which will forever be cemented in my heart as one of the most touching moments of my life, a pure um, childhood moment. Um, we have my jungle set, and in this one we have the fossil set. I'm not going to go through everything, because, and then in here we have... Um, all my commons. This is just a huge uh, Aquapolis Expedition Sky Ridge all empty booster packs that I opened that I hung on to when I was like 10 years old for some reason and I'm really glad I did because now the sealed ones are like super expensive and even though we don't have any of those it's nice to have the empty ones. So I already dug into one of these. I'm not going to lie. I didn't open it yet but I am uh it's a big moment. It's gonna be a long video. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. I'm not sorry. This is what this is what you came for. All right. We see the old tough in there. I don't remember all these orders. I just remember there's stuff that I want and need in here. So here we go. Witness it with me. A wiggly tough. A Mewtwo. Electromagnetic radar. And this uh. I thought this acro bike was kind of cool. It's the uh, Pokemon League one. I think it was like a quarter or something. So I think this was like two fifty or three bucks, which is why I picked it up. I figured Secret Rare for that, and we needed these guys. So I'll hmm. Should I cut the video or should I just put the cards in now while we're going live? Hmm, I think we'll, we'll do it. We'll do a live. We'll do a live. We'll get sleeves after. We'll just uh, worry about getting them in there all nice right now. All right, let's count a little bit. We need 31 and 42. 31 and 42. Okay, right here. Mewtwo is 31. So there he goes next to Mew. And then 42 would be right here after Jigglypuff. Wigglytuff. That would make perfect sense. Okay, there we go. That's one. Here we go. Number two. <laughs> oh man, they freaking take this one too. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go, here we go. All the sleeves up for this one. We got a uh, tape all over my finger. Jesse James Full Art. It's all Hidden Fate stuff so far. Very nice. What else we got? We got Jesse James. We got a Charizard. We got a Dragonite. I just needed this, but. I don't like to buy a TCG player for under $5 if I could pay $0.78 cents for shipping. I could definitely get it up to $5 with cards and not have to spend $0.78 cents on shipping when I could just spend that money on actual cards. At least that's my philosophy. What this Charizard? No. Um, why not? It's Charizard. Always get Charizards, right? And it's Dragon Age. Cute as heck. So we bought him two. Now Jesse and James. That is not a nice sleeve with that sticker on it. Why would they put that on there? I'm not sure. 68 out of 68. 5, 6, 7, 8. Bang. Hmm. 65, 
Oh, I think there's 69 and then there's, I don't know, maybe I messed this all up. We'll find out shortly. Ooh. Oh, this is a good one. This is a, this is one I was waiting for. This is the funniest way of mailing out anything I've probably ever seen. I always try to recycle my paper, so I'm trying to keep it a nice little organized pile. We got a little team baggy right here that we're gonna rip open, yep. Here we go, here we go. And we got our that Jungle Jolteon non-hollow and that Fossil Zapdos non-hollow. We're gonna have to throw those in the binders real quick. I have like an overall binder um, showing once this is done. Once they're all in there nice and nice and whatnot, you know? So, Jungle number 20. That is going right here. Let me look at this real quick before I start throwing in the binder, make sure. Man, they said this was light play, but this is pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie. I guess technically it's light play. There was like two little things on it, but that's fine with me. Go to Japan, it's a whole different ball game over there. That thing could have like a baby's breath on it once, and they're just like, oh, moderate. All right, so uh, 25, 27, and here we go. Childhood collection is getting completed today. I'm happy to have you guys here with me for it. Thought this video was gonna be like 10 minutes. We're pushing 10 minutes already almost. Pokemon breeder, never had a Pokemon breeder growing up. Never had a non-hollow Magneton. I guess. So, let's go base set to the Bizak. Well, not that far back. And Pokemon Breeder is number 76. That's gonna go right before Pokemon Trader. Ooh, this is, uh, this is shaping up nicely. And 26 for Magneton. That's right after Lapras. These cards are clean. Good condition cards, I, I will say that. That I will say. Okay, next. Tape it so that no one could get inside of it. This is an easy one. Just a secret rare Moltres Articuno Zapdos. Banging out original sets today. Banging out. Oh, we got the rookie card. Oh, rookie card. We're banging out some Hidden Fate stuff as well. Man, these cards need sleeves, don't they? 69 out of 68. Oh, Rowlet's number two. Oh, I thought I messed up big. I thought I really went over these numbers too. Rowlet's not number one. That's perfect. All right, done. Next, hit me with the next one. This is so good, it's like opening packs, but knowing that all the packs have exactly what you want inside and that you didn't pay a crazy amount to get them. You actually paid a very fair amount. Man, we need scissors before we start I'm damaging these Noi bats. Just a little cut in the tape will do the trick. Here we go, there's a good one right here. Very simple. Oh, oh! I forgot about that bad boy. Oh, look at that. Let me get my finger up out of there. That full art shiny bad net from the shiny vault. That cute ass little noise bad from the shiny vault. And of course, the bird trio. So, 44 out of 68. 44 out of 68. That's gonna go right here. Shaping up pretty nice. Shaping up pretty nice. Bayonet definitely gets a sleeve. Number 61. Where are we gonna find 61 now? 
48. Um, right after Espion. Ooh. 61, baby. And Noibat is 43. 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. These pages are definitely pretty empty, but that's all right. All right, here we go. Next one. Mm. Here we go now. Here we go now. Oh, this one's got a lot of writing on it. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, baby, baby, baby. And they didn't put it in the case like I like when they put it on the case. So it's not a pain in the butt to take out. Look at this. Look at this. Sexy ass full art. Reggie Rock right here. Let's just appreciate that. My girl, Altaria. Look, they had to they have to write on the sleeve. Let's get that off there for a second. Just look at this. It's a beautiful ass Pokemon right there. That's what that is. And talking about beautiful ass Pokemon. Look at that, Espeon. To get the order to five dollars to get the free shipping, it's so easy when there's all these cool ass cards. And for the binder, the pincer that we needed. So I'll make a little pile of stuff that I didn't really need, but I just helped myself to because we're young. Six out of 68. Right after Scyther, we have the boy pincer. Why they write all over the sleeves, I don't know. Even if they're trying to get an understanding or a marking, that's fine, but Waste of a sleeve. I will say that. Waste of a sleeve. We got in here. Okay. A couple weird orders. I, I in trying to beat the 78 cent shipping and get to the $5 mark while they put a ton of tape on this thing. Um, I sometimes buy obscure cards that I don't really need. Mm -hmm. This is literally the biggest pain in the ass of a team bag or a penny sleeve I've ever tried to open before. I wish you guys could see the, the struggle because they put tape all along the back. Hmm. It's like doing a surgery. Might as well call me the doctor. So I got this pack right open. Alright, I forgot what was in this one. But we got this Kendra. We got this Alolan Mutt. I love Alolan Mutt. Common Electrode. Common Snorlax. Is that a reverse, Bills? Hmm, guess I got a reverse. That's fine. I don't really remember. This Kendra is sick. Smuck is cool as hell. Alright, Electrode 22. Comes right before Young Jolteon. And Snorlax is number 50. Comes right after this Eevee right here, right here. And Bill's analysis is number 51. That's easy. This is shaping up. This is shaping up nice. Mm. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got a lot of cleaning up to do when this is done. fine. Simple order. We need Hidden Fate stuff to finish the regular set. We need a lot of stuff to finish this shiny set too, but we get that full art bird trio and that cool ass Gyarados, which is... Oh, did I buy the wrong one? That's something 212. I bought the wrong one. Did they send me the wrong one? Oh, they certainly did. They certainly did. I want to show you all the deets on this. 
all the dress stuff and whatnot, but we're gonna have to see this way. I check everything. I know I didn't. We can see right here, right next to Charizard. I got my promos. Got my promo Gyarados right here. I needed the other one. Look what they sent me. Let me confirm that with you guys. With this right here. If we can get a good reading of that, it does say 16 out of 68. Yep, ultra rare. Hidden Fate Gyarados check, 16 out of 68. And uh, this says SM212. So we got one little error. I'm not going to be able to finish the set today, unfortunately, unless I decide to open some packs and pull Gyarados, but that's just not going to happen. But, they sent the right, uh, the right bird trio, so, minor disappointment, minor setback, we will get to another, um, more serious problem, I'm sure this could be resolved pretty easily on their part, they might give me a something a discount or money back or something we'll see but 66 out of 68 we'll throw this beautiful bird trio in here as we absolutely destroy the sleeve man a little upset that the wrong cards get pulled sometimes when people are who was that who was that who am i giving a thumbs down to right now prodigy games Prodigy Games. Remember that. So I can go back and uh, ream them a new one, if you will. We'll get to the next one, though, and worry about that a little later. Here we go, here we go. We got more important stuff to do right now. More important stuff like these. Look at these sexy boys right here. They say moderate and heavy, but I don't care. And on the back... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're... Now. Now we're cooking with gas right here. That's what we're doing. Let's, let's see what they think moderate play is. Okay, yeah, this is definitely moderate play. Definitely not light, but almost light play. Pretty clean, pretty clean hollow Dragonite right there. Happy with that. Let's check a heavy play Alakazam. Wow, they put this as heavy play. This kidding. Uh, yeah, I guess. It could probably pass for moderate, but I appreciate them putting that because it does have some, a lot of, you can't really see it, but it does have some wobbly gawk on the back. I like this Promart Akuno, I think it was like 20 cents, so I said why not, and we actually needed this Imposter Professor Oak, which is also pretty damaged, but we needed it for, uh, for the set completions, so, base set we go, Imposter Professor Oak is number 73, oh, I'm in the wrong thing, you dummy, The Cooney can go over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Need a sleeve, need a sleeve, need a sleeve. Preferably one that's not written all over, but I guess we could just put the card in the front so you can't see that it's written on in the back. Is this done? Is this literally done right now? Or are we missing one more thing? It's done. It is literally done. We're gonna throw Dragonite in here too. We're gonna hit this. We're finishing it all today. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, wow. Here we go. You know what? Let's wait. We're almost done. We're almost done. Did I just? I put that in the wrong slot. I think. That's a fossil. It's not jungle number four. That's fossil number four. You dummy. I just happen to have that one open on both. All right now. Things are getting a little crazy. I guess I'm still shaken by uh, the Garros thing. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. We got a more serious rant coming up in a sec. But, oh, but this is the juice right here. Oh, this is the juice right here. I'll tell you that. 
crack open this team bag and see how they put it in. That's it. That's what you gotta do. Let's fit a thousand cards in this penny sleeve and then press it up against that. Very nice, very nice. Hollow Jolteon. Shiny Vol Voltor. Common. No, it's just hollow. Hollow Vaporeon. Sorry, sorry. Full Art Starmie. Full Art Raichu. Full Art Onyx. Full Art Giovanni's Exile. Oh, look at these cards. Look at this sexy Hitmonchan that I needed. And this. Oh, I've been waiting for this card. It's only like a three or four dollar card, but it's so nice. This is one of the cleanest cards there is. That shiny Metagross. Look at him. Don't look at me. Look at him. Look at that beautiful, beautiful boy. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't even know what to do. OG. We gotta go to jungle for a sec. Hit my least fossil. Jungle hollow number four. And a fossil hollow number seven. I can't believe I needed a holographic Hitmon Lee, but I did. All right, so. <laughs> We're almost done. Let's see, let's see. These, this bad boy can go over here, right there. Okay, Giovanni's Exile 67, bang. And that's good. Onyx um, 36, 24, 18, 35. Onyx is 36. That goes right after Golem right there. 19, do we have a number 20? We sure do. That's number, that's right you, rather. And then I could assume that Starmie goes right there. And 15, 17, Big Porion's number 18. Voltor B. If anyone's getting mad watching me not putting things in sleeves, We'll order sleeves and put them in there soon. I promise. Don't worry about that. We'll get there. We'll get there. And we'll tour. Bang. Okay, here we go. This is a big moment. Now, well, this isn't the big moment. The big moment's coming. But a moment is happening right now. As we go to the shiny vault. Kills me that the Gyarados is not the right Gyarados. Kills me. That is horrendous. But if it were to be the right Gyarados, then we got ourselves a complete non shiny vault part of Hidden Fates. Obviously, that's the easy part. The shiny vault is the hard part to do, especially the full arts. But we're not even close to that yet. If you can see, we are not close at all. Most of these spots are empty, but... Oh, that's my girl right there. That's one of my favorite cards. Well, oh, this is literally just a complete empty page. And then we've got some, uh, some cool stuff in the back next to the promos. Can I get a promo right you? But that's like not expensive, so we'll get that. Unless I put this right shoe in the wrong spot, but I'm pretty sure I look at it like every day. 20 out of 68, I'm sure. Metagross is gonna stick next to me for a little bit. Um, as we go through, here we go. Here we go. This is the moment. This is the moment of the whole video. If you're trying to skip forward to something, this is the part. Base set. I'm not skipping a single page right now. We got hitting every page of base set. Oh, 
Someone just beeped outside. We have to restart the whole video. Sorry. That fighting energy is German. I do have an English one, but I put the German one in there because why not? Now we are on the jungle. That Vaporeon is the misprint, doesn't have the set symbol next to it, but it is the jungle Vaporeon. And we go to Fossil. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the original three sets, base set, jungle, and fossil, sets that I collected when I was a kid but never finished, all three finished on today. Wow. Can't believe it. So I guess it's always kind of been on the back burner to, uh, to finish the sets, but I never really made it a priority. I wasn't really collecting too heavily, and when I started collecting Shiny Vault, Hidden Fate stuff, I said, why am I not, why am I missing cards from the original three sets? Those are so important to me. But now it is solidified. They are done. And, uh, so, wow, that's a crazy feeling. Um, alright, so, two pending things. One... Our Gyarados problem. And two, speaking of problems, I ordered something from TCG Player. I made about eight, eight, I think it was, orders at once. And all of them came in just regular letters, uh, no tracking, and seven of them did. And one of them had tracking on it. And the one that had tracking on it didn't show up for some reason. And I checked. The tracking, like, maybe a week and a half after. I was like, huh, I wonder how come that one didn't show up yet. But all the regular envelopes did. And it said that it was delivered four days prior. I checked it on a Friday, about a week and a half after I placed the order. And it said it was delivered on that Monday already. And I said, oh, that's not good. I check my mail, like, once or twice a day. Uh, if it doesn't come the first time, I check again. No one's ever stolen from my mailbox. My... Postman doesn't really ever make mistakes. I've never had a problem. I've had, mul you know, multiple little instances with USPS with shipping stuff and whatnot. But I've never not got something. And this was the first time. And uh, I knew it was USPS's fault. They marked it as delivered. It wasn't at my house. I contacted the seller, Toy Temple. And instead of taking the initiative as the seller to make sure everything could be done to for me to get this package, contact the post office, open a claim. They did none of that. I took initiative to do all that. I do that when I sell on eBay. If a buyer doesn't receive something, I always take initiative. And I assume that the seller should always do that. I believe that. I don't assume that. But this time, I did it as the buyer to try to get this package and they took no responsibility for it and when I asked for a refund they said that because it was marked as delivered that their supervisor said not to issue the refund so they literally sent me a generic list of things to do to try to recover the package myself they were zero help they were absolutely terrible the whole way through and I want to give a big thumbs up to TCG player because I've contacted them within a couple days they took the responsibility and understanding and siding with the customer that I did not receive my package my cards and they issued me a full refund which I appreciate so big thumbs up to them and a huge thumbs down to Toy Temple for being very unhelpful and just not just a horrible horrible customer service I will say that now I 
waited until everything arrived to make sure everything was in order and all the cards were the right way so I don't keep running to TCG players saying that I, I have problems with orders, especially when it's hard to side with someone when it says it was delivered in my mailbox. and It's not the seller's fault, I understand that, and it's not my fault, it's probably the post office's fault, I assume, right? USPS. So, that happens. They're going through a lot right now, but regardless, they delivered it. Like two weeks after I got my refund, and now that everything's good, I will message TCG Player and let them know that I received this, and if they want the money back, that is all them, because Toy Temple is terrible, I will not ever order from them again, and um, whatever I paid them, they got their money, but I do not want to take any money from TCG Player, a responsible store who is not trying to take TCG Player, or um, I'm sorry, Toy Temple's money, and also make sure that the customer is happy and correct in their purchase. So I will say I got my cards, if everything in here is correct, and uh, I will say thank you for much for being a responsible website and for taking care of the customer, and I owe you this money, you are good people. Now, we can get on to the good stuff. That was a little ramp, sorry. But, look at the stack of cards. I was very upset when this order didn't come because this is a good stack of cards right here. Just to show you the tip of the iceberg, I forgot all the cards that were in this order. And honestly, I didn't want to remember because I didn't think they were ever coming. So here we go. They're here. Shiny build them. Two of them. I tried to just buy them out because I think all this stuff's going up so I could sit on it and then trade it for stuff that I need later on. So, what? What? Three shiny Beldums. What's up? What's up? What's up? And a shiny Metang. What up? What up? What up? Shiny Metang. A second shiny Metang. Buy them all, buy them all. A third shiny Metang, I forgot that we that they had this many. Shiny Magnemite. Whoops, one of my favorite Pokemon. Top 100 favorite Pokemon coming soon, next video after this. Shiny Whoops, shiny Whoops for days. Shiny Curlia, shiny Cart, the little one. A second one, why not? A third one, why not? Young Guzzlord in the building, second Guzzlord in the building, the shiny Alolan Vulpix, second one right behind her, and another shiny Curlia. A lot of multiples, but when they're like a dollar or two each, you buy them all, and then they start to go up, and then you either sell them and make profit and spend it on life things like eating food and, and your rent and whatnot, or you buy cards that you need. And it's a very easy little way to go. Plus, when they have it in stock and they're already shipping to you, might as well get the most out of every order. I forgot that I bought all these. This is gonna be a fun uh, fun little stack to hang on to. I'm not gonna organize it and go through the binder again, but uh, wow, this has been a crazy, crazy, crazy video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all these pulls with me and being part of this completion moment from childhood. Um, these cards mean an absolute ton to me and to, um, these cards mean an absolute ton to me and to finish them, finish these original sets is really a big deal for me and, um, and also get some cool ass shiny vault cards is also cool and, um, Huge shout out to TCG Player, great company, and um, thank you guys so much for watching, for being with me. If you like the content, subscribe, give me a like, let me know what I could do differently, let me know other cards or things you want to see. I really don't know what recommendations you would have for me opening mail. Let me know what other mail you want me to open, and uh, we'll see you in the next one, baby. But we're still drinking water. Ugh. Ugh. I drank that like a disgusting piggy.